Merry Christmas Eve! Merry Christmas Eve! I got my mama and my family supposed to be coming over because we do Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. And Alan is over there. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't even I made it. I made him wear his beautiful little Christmas shirt that I got him a couple years ago. It says Merry Christmas. It's got a little deer. Look at this little cute card that his grandma and grandpa got me. It's Hello Kitty. So cute. Oh, and Rebel. <laughs> Rebel, you say Merry Christmas Eve? You already opened your present though. You wanna come in here? You want to come in the living room? Good boy. Hey dolls. So it is that time of year again to do my what I got for Christmas haul. So as you can tell, this is going to be a long video. So grab some hot cocoa, grab a snack, grab some candy, grab whatever you got to grab, get comfy because we're going to dive in and show you guys everything that I got for Christmas of 2018. Also, I just want to mention real quick, if you are new to my channel, do two, two disclaimers, two disclaimers here. Uh, number one is I am by no means at all whatsoever bragging about anything that I get. I just do one of these videos every single year on my channel. If you want to watch past years, uh, maybe I'll link a little playlist or something down below. The second disclaimer is, yes, I am a 26 year old grown woman who has a love and passion for collecting childish things. Does that make me any less mature than I am just because I like something that's targeted towards children? No. Not at all whatsoever. So, if you're going to criticize or judge me for any of my gifts that I received, um, this is not the channel for you because my entire channel is pretty much based on be yourself and love what you love and don't give a damn what anyone else says or thinks. So with that being said, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for hanging around if you do. And don't forget to subscribe if you are interested in more videos like this one. If you are a long time or short time watcher of my channel and you are not new here, hi, welcome back. Let's get into this video because I have talked way too much compared to how much stuff I have to show you guys. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to go over what my nieces got me. One of my nieces got me this adorable long sleeve Barbie little crop top. It's kind of like the waffle style, if that makes any sense. She got this from Rue 21 in case you wanted to try and find one for yourself. But it is just so cute and of course bright pink and Barbie-licious. So thank you to my niece for that little gift. Next up is a little gift bag from my other niece and she put it in this little uh, Victoria's Secret bag which is very fitting again so pink and cute. Now she actually works at Ulta so she kind of got me the hookup and got me a few like really cool things that I'm super excited to try. She uses this Mario Badescu Sorry if I am pronouncing that wrong. I've never used this before, but I'm very, very excited to try it. It comes with three different face sprays. Um, they have, one of them has aloe herbs and rose water. One of them has aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And one of them has aloe, cucumber, and lavender. She, used these, she uses these, she swears by them, and I'm very excited to try them out. Then we have this Models Own Cheat Day Highlighting Palette, which is really cool. I haven't actually opened this yet, but it does have like colored highlighters in here, which is very fascinating to me. I would open it right now, but I have nails on and there is tape. Plus this video is going to be crazy long anyway. So she said that this model's own brand is really good. I've never actually used it. So if you guys have, let me know your opinions down in the comments. And then she also got me this uh, Sweet and Shimmer Hand Lotion Frosted Berry. And it just has a little snowman on there. And this one smells so good. I just love the smell of this one. I can't wait to use this. And then she also got me a Raspberry Sorbet Philosophy. And this can be used as shampoo, shower gel, and or bubble bath. So it just is one of those little ones. I've actually never used the Philosophy brand either. And I told her that and she's like, what? It's so good. And I know, I've seen it all over the place. I've heard such positive things. I've just never 
bought anything from it so I'm gonna test it out and probably I'll get addicted I know they have like cupcake scented ones and all kinds of stuff so probably gonna go down a rabbit hole with that one then she also got me this model's own throw shimmer highlighter stick this kind of reminds me of like the milk cosmetic ones but I love this purple shade right here so 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 beautiful so that is everything from my knees thank you so much all right now on to the stuff from my sister okay so the first thing my sister got me she actually got this for my fiance and I and it is just a little card that has a little snowman and some hot cocoa it says may warm wishes melt your heart this season and it's just very cute then she got me some candy she got me a nerd's rope you guys remember this th these things? I'm so glad they still sell these. She got me Krispy Kreme Jelly Belly Donuts. We have some French Vanilla Swiss Miss Hot Cocoa. And I was really excited about these uh, chocolate spoons. So like you can stir your hot cocoa with them to make them more chocolatey. Or you could just eat them straight like I probably will do. And she also got me some Rudolph hot chocolate mix then there is a coconut oil lotion from pink victoria's secret i have not opened this yet i'm very excited to use it though we also have another little philosophy one and this is melon daiquiri these two little items right here face and body mini wipes and this is ooh, bath and shower fizzer frosted berry so this is the same scent that my niece got me in the hand lotion so I know I'm absolutely going to love these as well some little mason jar style uh, post-it notes they're not really post-it notes they're just kind of like memo pads and then I fell in love with this it is just a little trinket box but it is a macaron if you guys are new to my channel I actually work at a bakery and we specialize in making French macarons so this is so cute and thoughtful it's just a cute little trinket box and of course it has to be the color of my walls bubblegum pink so cute and as some of you guys may know I am obsessed with the Bath and Body Works wallflowers I use them all the time I love them so much so she got me a new wallflower plug and this these are just some super glittery Christmas trees very cute and then the scents that she got me she got me four of them we have hot cocoa and cream peppermint brownie apple garland and frosted cake pop i have never even smelled any of these scents i didn't even know they existed at bath and body works so i'm very excited about these ah! so thank you to my sister for all of those goodies next up i guess i'll do what i got from my fiance so one of the items that my fiance got me actually isn't here just yet he did order it a little late so unfortunately it's not here just yet but i'll put a picture of it right here on the screen it is the new black milk marie pink skater dress i know they have the overall version too but i actually prefer the dress and he got it for me and i'm so excited to have it i'm sorry i can't really show it to you guys right now but definitely follow me on instagram to see outfit posts when i get it because i definitely will be taking photos wearing it so along with that he also got me this adorable my melody cup I am obsessed with this. I absolutely love this so, so, so much. My Melody is like my favorite Sanrio character. And he actually got this off the Blippo website, B-L-I-P-P-O dot com. And it's just so cute. I love that it has this little carrying handle and the little top. It has the rubber straw as well as a My Melody head. And on the back, it actually has Karomi on there as well, which is so, so, so cute. And I just, I love this so much. Then my fiance also got me a lot of Disney pins. He ordered them. I will put a photo of them right here because I did already put most of them on my pin board. I love them so much. Also, if you guys want to check out my DIY pin board to find out how I made my pin board, I will link that video on the screen right here as well. So you're more than welcome to check that out. It was so thoughtful. He knows I collect Disney pins. There's also quite a few more as you can see in this little bag. It was a 25 assorted lot. So there's 25 pins in the lot. 
lot and he figured that I like to do like pin trading and stuff when I am at the park so maybe I'll be able to do some pin trading with cast members and get some even cuter ones and just a little disclaimer here I do not necessarily condone purchasing pins off of sites like eBay and things like that because you have to be aware of counterfeits and oftentimes you won't be able to pin trade with cast members or people in the park if you own counterfeit pins and a lot of people who are really serious about the pin trading can definitely tell between fakes and reels so keep that in mind Alan got lucky with this lot. They are 100% authentic, but there are a lot of times where you'll get screwed over. And so I definitely, definitely pay attention, ask questions, look at the photos, request photos of the backings of the pins and all that jazz. If you are getting into pin collection, you probably watched a thousand videos all about them by now. So you don't really need me blabbing about it, but I just wanted to put that little disclaimer in here because I don't want anyone to get screwed over. And then, last but not least definitely not least this was like one of my favorite presents this year he got me a battery for my laptop my battery on my laptop stopped working like three or so years ago and so I'm only ever to, ever able to use my laptop if it's plugged into the wall and so I've been needing a new battery for quite some time I just haven't gotten around to buying it because it's just like an added purchase and it wasn't so much a super necessity because I can still use my computer just sitting at my desk just fine but I kind of miss like sitting at my computer and editing while I'm in bed and just relaxing so being able to have a battery now is just kind of a lifesaver and I'm so happy thank you so much babe for getting me this along with the other goodies that you got me this year and then along with that Alan's grandparents actually got me an Ulta gift card I will definitely be using this so yeah very awesome and very sweet of them now the big ones <laughs> my mom tends to go a little overboard every year but she's smart she starts shopping for Christmas like the day after Christmas for the following year. So she kind of stocks up quite a bit and she rarely ever pays full price for anything. So though this might seem like a lot of stuff, it was all like purchased on sale and she is just such a an idol to me. Like I worship her when it comes to purchasing stuff that is on clearance and not full price and it's where I got it from because oftentimes I always go right towards the sale racks and only wait till sales to buy stuff online because I'm all about saving some coin. You know, you work hard for that coin. You gotta save it. So let's go ahead and just dive on into this. My mom has been obsessed with these little wall plaque things. So she's getting them for everybody. She's finding them on super clearance sales and she's just getting them for everyone. These are perfect for when I do end up getting my own place. I can't wait to decorate it all with these cute little things. We have this one that says, always believe something wonderful is about to happen. And it's like this blush and gold color scheme, which is so, so pretty. We have this one that says, love you to the moon and back. Very cute, classic saying, adorable. And then this one, my mom always says to me, I'll say, when we go to bed at night, I'll say, I love you. And then she'll go, I love you more. And I'll say, I love you. I love you more. And so we've had this thing for quite some time of her telling me, I love you more. And so she got me this one. It has a little baby elephant holding the tail of the mommy one. And it says, love you more. And it's pink. Well, it's like a blushy like rose color but it's so so cute and it just like melted my heart because it's like our thing so it was a very very thoughtful one and I love it so much so I can't wait to put this up eventually okay then we have some clothing items I'm just gonna go through these pretty quick we have a new Dr. Seuss's The Grinch tee and this has Cindy Lou on it and it says heart of a who her and I went to go see the new Grinch in theaters like right when it came out and it was so cute we had such a blast laughing and it was just a really really fun little experience so again kind of a thoughtful gift there then she got me some of these like pajamas and shirts this one has a unicorn on it. Oh my gosh, sorry, my camera just went weird. This one's like a navy blue, has a unicorn on it, and it says unicorn in training on the sleeves. Very cute. 
Then we have this one that is similar. It says, be a unicorn in a field of horses. Very cute. Again, kind of that dark pink that matches my hair. And she got me this unicorn one that says, chillin'. And it's like a little unicorn floaty. And <laughs> so cute. That one will be cute to wear in the summer. Then, I don't even know where she found these. I don't know, but these are amazing. These are actually Arizona's, but these are little girls jeans. They're a size 14 and a half, I think, but they're little girls, so they fit me perfectly. I'm usually a three in juniors jeans, so these are awesome. They're just like a pastel watercolor tie-dye. I love them so, so much. I cannot wait to wear these in the summer as well. And this, I have been living in this the past few days or so. Let me put the zipper up. She got this at Walmart and I was actually with her when she got it because <laughs> I just fell in love with it. I ran right towards it. She's like, get it. I'm getting it for you for Christmas. So <laughs> it is a Rudolph onesie and it has Rudolph and Clarice on there and it is so cute. It even has Bumble and again, I have a huge like childhood history with the Bumble and there's just like a whole story behind it, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that right now. But the thing that I loved about this was the drop seat on the back. It is like the old school ones where you have like the little buttons and it opens up and then your butt's exposed. Well, it's not really. There's a little bit of fabric there that kind of protects it. So if it does come open accidentally, you're not fully exposed, but it does lift the flap up so you can have your butt exposed. <laughs> but I just love that it has Rudolph and Clarice right there. It is just so cute. And it says a fawn over me right on the booty, which is so cute. These are not footy pajamas. It's not a footy onesie, which I love because then I can put on my own little fuzzy warm socks. And I don't know, I've just been living in this. I posted photos of this on my Instagram, wearing it, and I am just obsessed. Then I also got some socks. I again was with her when she picked these out. She actually, actually got these at a store called Big Lots. And this is an eight pack and it was literally like $3. So if you need some socks, hit up Big Lots. We have the Hannah Montana DVD. I was obsessed with this and she actually found this at Dollar Tree. So that's amazing and a very good steal. Again with Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, Santa or my mom usually always brings everyone in my family a calendar and so this year I got the Lisa Frank calendar. You guys know if you've been around my channel for a while I get a calendar every single year and I've gotten a Lisa Frank one a few times. I've gotten My Little Pony. I've gotten Mickey and Minnie. I've gotten so many different ones but when Dollar Tree did come out with the Popples, Strawberry Shortcake, uh, Lisa Frank and there were a few other ones as well I did actually get the those too. Um, so I do have those as well. I have the Popples one hanging up on my wall right now, but I was given this one for Christmas. And my mama also got me this little like keychain thing. I, I wouldn't necessarily put this on a key ring because it's quite heavy and it's very like thick, but um, this will be very cute, like hung in a window or something, but it has a unicorn on it and it says those who don't believe in magic will never find it and so beautiful and i just love it you guys know if you saw my what i got for my birthday haul that i just recently posted or my birthday haul because my birthday is on december 7th it's in the same month as christmas so you guys get lots of me being spoiled hauls uh for december but um i posted that video and in that video you saw that she got me the disney princess necklace. I'm not going to do a close-up of it right now because I just showed it to you guys in that video so you can reference it there but she got me this necklace and for Christmas ooh, for Christmas she actually got me another one and this is another 14 karat gold gold filled chain from the Disney collection at JCPenney except instead of a crown with the word princess on it it actually just has a crown with a pink stone in the center of it so so cute again very dainty 
I'm so excited to wear this. However, I'm like so attached to this one. I have not taken it off since I got it. So like I don't want to take this one off to wear this one. But I love the pink stone in this one. It matches my engagement ring. So I don't know. I might have to wear this one soon because it's like it's so cute. I didn't actually make like a big list this year. Uh, I wanted, however, a caboodle because they have been remaking them for like the past year or so, maybe two, three years. Um, they've been remaking the old school caboodles and I am here for it. I am living for it. I just had not caved and gotten one, but I really wanted the lilac one. And so she went on a mission and she found me the beautiful lilac caboodle and i am so happy i can't wait to fill this up i might use it for craft supplies rather than makeup uh, because i do have makeup cases already that i really do like however i do love that you can clean these out a lot easier than like makeup bags so i might just start filling this with my makeup um it'll be great for traveling like overnight places definitely not like on the plane and stuff because it'll get thrown around like crazy but ooh, but if i do just like a day trip somewhere or something this will be great like to have just overnight um very cute Again, I might put crafts in it. I might put makeup in it. I might... <laughs> Alan described this. Alan is my fiance, by the way. He described this as a makeup tackle box, which is a 100% accurate representation, 100% accurate description. I love that concept so much. So my makeup tackle box. Another thing that was on my list that I wanted, I love Paw Patrol. Again, I am a five-year-old at heart, and so I wanted this little Paw Patrol duffel bag that I saw in one of her catalogs that she got in the mail for Christmas time. So cute, so me. I actually have a Paw Patrol pillowcase that I just recently got. I love um, Everest so much. She's like my favorite, so anything that has her on it along with Sky, just like makes my heart melt because it's like girl power and it's just like the cutest thing ever. So I love this. This. it even says best pups ever and it's just so cute and it's like a little kids duffel bag but this will be great for snacks and stuff when I travel or just whatever really and it does have a longer shoulder strap as well I might just use this as my daily purse from now on and the last thing my mama got me is the Britney Spears fantasy perfume now there's a story behind this. As you guys know, along with the calendars, every year from my mom, I usually get Curious by Britney Spears. It's usually like the perfume or the lotion and the perfume or a whole set, kind of like this one. I am obsessed with Curious by Britney Spears. It is like my favorite super affordable perfume ever in the whole entire world of existence. And she told me that she could not find Curious. She couldn't find it anywhere. They usually carry it at Big Lots, which is the store that the socks are at, but they did not have it this year at all whatsoever at our location. And so she settled for a fantasy. She's like, I'm so sorry. I hope you like it as much. And to be 100% honest, I prefer Curious over fantasy, but I am excited to try this one out. I have smelt it before and it's not bad. It's not horrible or anything. I will definitely use this. But yeah, she was so sad. She's like, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. And I was just like, it's okay. It's okay. This is just as good. It'll be fine. Oh, my voice cracked. And anyway, so there is Britney Fantasy. And then lastly, we have stuff from Santa. Now, Santa heard my mom's plea, and he found it. <laughs> this is why Santa is so amazing, and everyone loves him. It's like he pulls through when people can't. Our family does Christmas, Christmas Eve, and I got my stocking stuff on Christmas morning, and so I got Fantasy, and my mom was all upset that she couldn't find Curious, but lo and behold, Santa had her covered the whole time because he surprised me with Curious. A few other things that Santa got me. He got me some Fantasy bath bombs to go with that set, which was kind of cool. One of the things on my list was a tape dispenser. So Santa heard my cry and he got me a tape dispenser with some scotch tape. 
<laughs> you guys know I recently did a video on how I color my roots or how I retouch up my roots for my pink hair and I was talking about how I needed a new brush for dyeing my hair and Santa surprised me with two brushes for my hair. So thank you Santa for hearing my cries. And then also another very useful thing that I go through all the time, every single day, are the Neutrogena makeup wipes. So Santa got me a very useful twin pack of these guys. Then Santa also got me these little animal earrings. Now my ears are stretched, so I can only wear earrings that have like the uh, hook on them I can't usually wear posts I do have a second piercing but the second hole is a lot close is really close to my plugs so it kind of like overlaps sometimes when I wear earrings in those holes and it just doesn't look quite right but these bottom row have the little hooks so I can actually just string them through right there with my plug and they are very cute these are all just like little woodland creatures and then last but not least also santa did bring me candy a lot of that has been devoured though i got junior mints raisinets sour gummy worms snickers reese's and hershey's i think santa knows what's up when it comes to candy the last thing that he got me is this lava lamp bluetooth speaker very cool i plugged this in the other day it works awesome and it takes a while for the lava to work just like any other lava lamp but it is really cool and it is very groovy yeah it's, it's, it's very groovy <laughs> Anyway, that is everything that I got for Christmas from my family. Like I said, I will be getting some stuff from friends in the mail soonish. I'm not sure exactly when, but hopefully I will make like unboxing videos of those that will be going up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it wasn't too super long, but it was kind of a huge haul. Uh, thank you seriously to everyone who has given me anything as a gift for my birthday or Christmas. It really warms my heart and and just remember that Christmas isn't necessarily just about giving gifts or receiving gifts. It's about spending time with your loved ones and just letting them know how much you care and appreciate them. And also, it's a time for us to remember and appreciate Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I am Christian, so I definitely celebrate Christmas for that reason specifically, but also to just spend time with friends and family and to celebrate. Thank you guys again for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video. Let me know what you guys' favorite thing was that I showed in this little haul, huge haul. And with that being said, I'll talk to you all next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And yeah, so until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right.